Blog Talk Radio. We welcome the night. Just 
exaggerating and just redundant um, without really anything um, that's superfluous to the to the the point of the film. Like, yeah, there's been films out there where it's like, oh, we're going to do this spoof sort of throwback 80s, you know, this is more VHS, like, because it's, it's shot, and it's not shot, but it is, uh, there's a VHS grain filter over it to make it look like it's a, a lost VHS movie from the 80s or 90s. And it's yeah. supposed to be this slasher film, and it's it, it's a spoof on the genre. It's supposed to be this spoof film. I get that. I understand that. But when you have a spoof film, it's supposed to be sort of entertaining and not fucking this, where you're just God. uninterested in everything that happens. The kills don't matter. Nothing fucking matters until you're just left like, What's the point? There's nothing to vein your interest, you know, vein your, vein yeah. your whatever. Um, there's just nothing there to grab you as a viewer. There's nothing to make you. You're just sitting there, just like, what is? Why? Why? Why is this a thing? Um, but not in that sense of like, why is this a thing? I'm just like, this shouldn't be the way it should. How it turned out. This this needed. Yeah. It's just like they went about everything ass backwards. And like, oh, we're going to be this fun little spoof movie towards the end of the film with our big reveal. It's, it's just like, okay, there's been better films about inanimate objects killing people than th- what this film wanted to do. Exactly. Like Killer Condom, a fucking there's slacks a few years back about the killer pants. There's also another <laughs> friend of mine, he did a film called Killer Pants. Um, he did it as a short, and he included it in his anthology film that he made. Um, and it's just like there's there's ways to go about there's there's like Attack of the Killer Backpacks through film that they done. That's a feature length film, and they did the same fucking thing, but with backpacks. You know, um, there's Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. All the Killer Tomatoes films. About to they go that. about <laughs> this. Yeah, they, they go about this idea more in depth and. In on the joke, and some of them not so in on the joke, but still, like, they made them entertaining. This is just, it's just, it wasn't, there was nothing here, man. There's just nothing here, and I know we haven't went into the plot yet, and usually we go into the plot before we get into our likes and dislikes or disdain and disinterest with this one. But, man, it's just, (laughs) there was just nothing there that I had to get my, my, everything out there because this one just sucked it was just uninteresting and like there's just nothing there this is just like no, oh my god it's really just, just boring there's just there's talking. no fucking plot hardly a plot and what plot there is is like just not even worthy of mentioning because it's like they don't really fucking care why should i yeah the plot of the movie really took a like just like a back step on it because all they mm-hmm. this movie literally could have like you said been a short it could have it should have just been like I think 30 minutes tops like yeah three got every, short the exact same out, film, thing out. put it the first one get the joke one out of the way or maybe the second one because it's the joke one you know I could see something like this and like a um, ABC the death you know, one of those shorts, you know, because he had, like, the weird ones in that. So I could see this one, you know, S is for this or something like that. Because, um, again, I don't want to say it's a, sort of a spoiler, <laughs> right? Still at the moment, even though I don't care. And I still played Syphil and Ollie's theme song. But still, you kind of get a point of where the S is for. Um, but, yeah, it's just, it, God. So I'll get into this plot. It's going to be super short. Um, so, there's this girl, her name's Emily, years prior, her father was killed on a beach, um, he was a scientist, he worked with two other scientists in this lab for this project, um, and there's this, uh, killer going around in a, um, a gas mask, um, 
attacking people. And so now, so many years later, um, the events leading up to Halloween, because apparently this is a Halloween film, even though it's woo-hoo-hoo. Um, um, so, yeah, uh, events leading up to Halloween is like three or four days before Halloween, and then uh, the mask, the gas mask killers comes back, and he's uh, killing a few people, and, like, Emily is trying to find out what happened to her father and what this project was all about, sort of. Again, it's 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 very minor, and basically you're just watching people walk around. There's, like, some, like, expositional twists and, like, characters. It doesn't fucking matter. Like, you have, like, the, the boyfriend interest, and, like, he gets, like, drunk a lot, and then you have the other friend that's, like, um, watching, you know, all he does is watch horror movies and talk about horror movies, and he's trying to get with this one chick. Yeah, I know, right? And, like, and and he's trying to hook up with, like, the the bar chick who was in a bunch of horror movies, I think, Um, and, like, the barmaid's trying to hook up with the one dude, and, like, he's constantly drunk, and... Then there's people who gets murdered, and like Emily's going off trying to find this trail of clues about her father and the the killer, and why now he's coming back. It doesn't listen. It doesn't fucking matter because spoilers. It's about fucking killer socks. All right. The big twist is like the socks were the experiment, and like when you put the socks on because they're the fucking socks, and that's that's the last act of this movie where it's like. Okay, we went that route, and like again, it, leading up to it, it's like it's like they're so straightforward with this film, and like spoof films are like films of this nature that want to be sort of, you know, tongue in cheek. This is too straightforward. This is like there's nothing there. It's just dull, and it's British too, so you get a lot of just like dull, dry conversations that lead nowhere and it's just like put some excitement into the fucking movie where I'm interested into this stupid plot that about a fucking killer with a gas mask that turns out to be a animated corpse due to a fucking re- a, 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 a mutated sock <laughs> That was just <laughs> God. <sighs> like Ian. that was just came out of left field. That was like really far out of the left field. Because so I was just like, what? Uh, okay. <laughs> I was like this. I was like, if they would have introduced that in the beginning, of like. Or, like, hinted at it more, like, I think the movie would have been a little bit more interesting, but, like, the main character, uh, I don't even know her name, I, I, I checked out, yeah, I, I kept checking yeah, five, out. Yeah, <laughs> like, once her, she was introduced, I was, I was out of it, like, all right, I want to see this, you know, it sounds cool, oh, you heard... know, this killer leading up to Halloween, and he's killing people, and they're, they're trying to stop it, no, don't, don't expect that at all. Don't. Yeah. There's there's no homage. There's no you know any of that. That's it's not tongue in cheek. I mean I get what they're trying to do. I get it. I get it. It's a joke. I, I get it. It's a spoof sort of. But have some fun with it. Don't be so straight laced. And then right. you know don't talk about politics. If you're a stand up comedian, politics and all this stuff and right wing and all this you know like oh I'm gonna die of cancer and all this other stuff, and then end it with a poop joke. You know, it's just like, it doesn't work with what you're trying to accomplish by making it this straight-laced film, and then you end it with a killer sock. It just, it doesn't work. I mean, I know some British humor is weird. I don't get, don't get me wrong, but again, there's been other spoof films that we've mentioned earlier that just you know, killer condom. I mean, it's a stupid idea, but it's actually a good film. You know, like 
oh, yeah. this guy, it's like it's mutated condoms that kills gay people, you know, like, oh, my God, you know, he hates gay people, so I'll do this. And, like, it's, it's it's just, you know, stupid thing like that, you know, attacking the killer tomatoes, they're in on the joke, you know. Yeah. And then it's just, like, all these other films that just, like, do the concept a little better, but this one's just, like, so straightforward, so in your face, this is, this yeah. film, and then it's just, like, boom, here you go, it's fucking mutated sock from Stiffle and Ollie. Mutated, uh, that was just so, t- God, I liked how the, the, um, the socks kind of looked like the, uh, the worm from, uh, Beetlejuice. Uh, that was like, oh, that was like where my mind immediately went. I think it was trying to find something that was more entertaining to think about. But I just, like, I just, all I, I'm sorry, all I could hear was Rebel Wilson. Like, that's it. And that was like, I, I really do not like the way Rebel Wilson talks. And that's all the main character, Emily, has how, exactly how she found it. And I was already like kind of getting annoyed just by listening to her talk. And I was like, "This." And also the fact that like all the audio is ADR'd, so it's just like that extra like annoyance. Like sometimes that works. Like again, if you're watching like a uh, an Italian film from like you know that's that's like overdubbed because they they have to do dubbing. You know, if you watch an Argento or Fulci film like that, yeah, like they they do the dubbing. It's like not as strenuous, you know. But this one is just like. I mean, it's kind of was obnoxious to the point because, like, they're. I mean, I know what they're going for. I, I know, like, again, we're in on the joke. We get it. We get the idea that they're trying to achieve. It just nothing works. It felt like they That's were explaining the, the that joke sucked. to us. Which you know, when you explain the, when you have to like explain the joke, it's not funny. And that's what I felt like. Like this was. I was just like. I was like, they're trying to be funny, but it's not. And I've watched British comedies, so I'm like, I used to watch them all the time, and I'm like, this is bad for even that. Like, yeah. like, eighty percent of the movie is nothing but conversation that literally goes really nowhere. Nope. The acting it's, it's was a bunch of the same stuff. Either, like it was either. They even like everybody was either overacting or underacting, and no character was in between except for um, the spoiled little uh, girl who daddy owns the restaurant. Like she seemed like okay actress, but they kind of like pushed her more to the side. I, I was like, okay, I was very confused like where this movie was going to go. Um, I really didn't have uh, Killer Socks on my list of things that was going to happen. I thought it was, like, going to be one of their friend, you know, friend group that was the killer. But I was like, okay, animated corpse. Well, I was Stop. expecting, you know, again, the, the, they were talking about this experiment, you know. I was like, okay, so it's, you know, I was thinking that. But, uh, again, I, can, I don't know. Yeah, I was kind of just, hoping for like a uh, Jekyll and Hyde situation. Yeah. I don't know, it, again, it just goes nowhere because like again, everything is so like monotone, like in the story, and it's just uninteresting. And then like they have these interludes, like her and the one guy that he, she's trying to hook up, you know, be you know, be more than friends with because they're really whatever, and like this fun like date night, and then like the. Then you have like the killer doing his thing randomly, and then you have Lloyd Kaufman show up as one of the uh, scientists uh, randomly, just like spirit. You know, his ghost shows up randomly, like, "Oh, I was there. I know what's going on. You need to, you need to find this person." And and it's just like all this stuff, and it's just like in the end, it just doesn't ghost fucking matter. <laughs> uh, that was okay. That was one line that actually made me laugh. Was like. Uh, I know because a ghost told me. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was like, that was that's just like that was stupid. At least I got like a couple of laughs out of the movie. Yeah. But yeah. like, 
It just, oh my god. And then you have the detective that doesn't want to be a detective. Like, no, nah, I'm just taking a break. I'm off duty. I don't want anything to do with anything. And like, he's no. always like pushing people. You know, like just like doesn't want to do his job. Like, you just came here and you're on break. You know, just stuff like that. So I, was like, I yeah, also, I'm, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure that his face was on one of the missing posters. I'm because when sure. he was sitting yeah. next, to, yeah, I was like, I kept looking at that, and I was like, I, I'm pretty sure that the missing posters is just the cast. And I was like, that's kind of funny. I was like, that's kind of a mm-hmm. little cute little Easter egg thingy to put up there. I was like, that's, I was like, that's fun. I wish the most this movie was was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when you have a but, title like "I Scream on the Beach." I mean, it's like I was it's expecting barely on the different. beach. Yeah. Like I was like, yeah. okay, so Halloween, I Scream on the Beach. I mean, it, it seems like again, like the concept. If you went by just normal slasher standards, you know, people being killed on the beach. One of them was the girl's father, and she the killer comes back. You know, the next teller, how many years later, and wants to try to find the killer. You know, it's typical slasher standards, but the way they go about this yeah. is like, nope, I don't care about anything that's happening in this film. The kills suck. I mean, even the fucking cinder block on the guy's head with the eyeball sticking out, I was like, damn, eh, whatever. You know, it's just like it was, it was just I was just uninterested with everything. Like there was not a single thing. And then again, the sock and. Uh, just like, well, it made me think of Syphil and Ollie. And, like, I'd much rather watch that show. That show's entertaining for 20 minutes each episode, you know? Yeah. And, you know, like, when they were, when he was wearing that mask, the guy was getting murdered, you know, with his getting his face smashed. And I was like, I, I was like, why is he wearing the mask? And then they started doing that. I was like, oh, that's why. So they can just not show like a real face getting smashed in but it looks like it is it's like okay I was like that kind of I get that but it just looked it just, it just looked bad and not in the like you know good bad way that we sometimes enjoy here on the yeah, show like I said I'd, I'd much rather put Halloween Double Trouble horror show on again and watch that through than watch this ever again, <laughs> because at least I'm getting some kind of weird enjoyment out of that film. I don't know exactly my mindset when it comes to last week's show, um, but I know that I'm going to come out of there a changed individual for better or worse. <laughs> this one, right. it's just it's a flat line across the board. You know, you know, it's at least at least my heart's trying to, yeah. Because like, I almost so fell asleep like boring. multiple times watching this. Like I had to rewind it a few times just so I can figure out what was going on. Because I kept like starting to doze Hell, off. I paid and, attention like, to the damn thing. And I could barely keep track of what <laughs> was going on. Yeah, I just like, am I just missing something? I was like, it's like, no, it just no talking. Calls. Yeah, the, I was like. It just, I think at least about maybe 80% of this movie was just talking. Because, like, I don't remember anything else. No. There's, other there's, than that there's, one there's kill. Nothing there. Yeah. And socks. <clears throat> the Beetlejuice socks. That's all I'm going to think of it. <laughs> that's the only thing that's going to make me remind me of this, that, of this movie. I'm just going to think of Beetlejuice socks. Yeah, I, I really don't have anything else to say. I, I, I wasn't a fan of it. Like, I, you already heard our disdain for it. Again, you feel feel free to make your own decision if you wanted to watch it. This is just our thoughts. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I definitely would not really recommend this one at all. I mean, go watch Sifl and Ollie. Go watch a season yeah. of that. It's more entertaining. I mean, you get Precious Roy. You know. You gotta, yeah. All yeah, kinds of stuff and I wouldn't even there. put this in a uh, in a list for cr- a crap fest movie night, because you know, like at least those movies, you know, when you want to have fun, I just I just don't see how 
they went made it all the way through the editing process and was like, This is a this is what I want to put out <laughs> and like and and I you know, it's just it's just bad. And I hate ragging on it like that, but I'm just like you know, because it's not even a fun ragging on. No, this like, is not like Krampus um, origins or anything like that, where it's just like awful decisions in a movie and just like seeing them play out. This is just, like I said, it's just monotone. It's just a flat line. There's nothing there, and it's just staggering or about. Like, like, I get the killer song thing, you know, I, I get it. But I think they should have done more with it than wait till like the last like what fifteen minutes of the movie. If that, it felt like ten minutes. Yeah, exactly. And it's like so. Those like they did nothing with it. I wish they would have at least introduced it halfway through the film, and that would have probably made the movie a hell of a lot more interesting. No, we needed more that... discovery about her father, Ian, because her father's fucking important to the story. <laughs> don't you don't you talk exactly. down about this film because we need central crucial plot information about the daughter Emily going all of these going all over these places asking people about her missing father. And and having other people saying, No, you don't need to do that. You're going down a rabbit hole, you don't need to go down. And then the ghost of Lloyd Kaufman shows up telling her to do things. And you always do what you, Lloyd says. That Even was if it's so mutated stock. <laughs> like I, I saw that Lloyd Kaufman was in it, and I guess that like they asked him, and he probably did it, or like they just took, they did like what um, Fisted did, and just made it a commercial. <laughs> so I just took stuff that was already existed and just kind of put it in there. I'm surprised I remember that. I've only seen that movie once. Yeah, everyone needs fisted, man. Like I said, that, at least that. See, that's a spoof. That was intentionally made bad. And that and, film is like still to this day we're referencing fisted because there's like and I don't everything in that I, film. I, I, <laughs> out of all the movies we watch, that is the one movie that has burnt into my brain. <laughs> yeah, because it was just stupid. So like exactly, that's what it, that's what needs, needs that that has a pulse, even though it's like intentionally made bad. There's just like so much shit thrown at the screen, and it all fucking it's like smears and splatters everywhere of shit, and it's just like wow, that pains. That's like a fucking Jackson Pollock of shit, you know, fisted. <laughs> and it's just like you're just yeah. looking at it like holy shit, you know, someone's gonna pay a good penny for that. And like you have this, and it's just fucking Campbell's soup can, you know, not no, <laughs> no, you know, it's just like, well, it's a fucking can of soup, you know, it's a fucking sock, you know, like, yeah, I don't know, just, oh man, the, yeah, there's just nothing, I mean, nothing here. They could have had something, like they had all the elements there. It's just, just poor decisions. And it just felt like, you know, and we've watched a movie made by an eight-year-old. So, like, yeah. I don't want to hear excuses of, like, well. Yeah. Well, like, fucking no, crack, this was just heroin-addicted clown that wants to fucking sacrifice and makes a, a baby, a brand-new born baby into a heroin baby. So, yeah. That's a fucking eight-year-old, and you, all you can come up with is a fucking mutated sock at the last five minutes of your movie. He did that fucking 20 minutes in. Exactly, fucking. and that's, that's just... <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, I'm glad to see people are, you know, branching out and being creative. Like, I get that. But, like, you know, I've said multiple times, like, a good storyboard... Mm -hmm. would have solved a lot of their problems because it just felt like they didn't know what they wanted to do and they're like oh crap what we want to do is isn't going to take very long so let's just add filler of just me walking around 
going place to place just asking the exact same question and getting basically the same answers until a magic ghost comes up and tells me what I needed to know. And then and then still like nothing happens until like the last five minutes of the movie. And that's like you know, you could have just like, because honestly, it kind of felt like um, zombie ass toilet of the dead with the socks toward the end. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, at least that movie introduced the fucking worms halfway through the movie, and like, and they had to like navigate that. And I was like, they could have done something like that. And I was like, this would have, I was like, this right here would have made a much more interesting plot point than just trying to figure out where your dad is. Because at this, yeah. it's just a murder mystery movie. Like having that like sucks. 80 minutes, like at least 70 minutes of this where her just like going place to place in a random kill by the you know gas mask killer stalking someone or doing that. You know, That's you do that for, for like, I don't know, do it for like 55 minutes and then introduce the sock fucking plot you know, when she finds her dad. Again, like you then you have, like, the fucking sock zombies that fucking happen at the end because, again, they're, they are they take possession of dead corpses and then have a fucking zombie film at the last act of it. No, you can't do that. Exactly. So you have to set it up for a sequel. I did. <laughs> I did, like, when the nun came out, was coming out of the elevator. <laughs> and I was like, I know what you're doing. I was like, I know what you're you're making a spoof of. My wife saw it. She was like, Oh, I wonder what that's supposed to be. <laughs> it was pretty. I was like, that that was kind of funny. And he just shot. Yeah. She's like, You shot a nun. <laughs> like, like there, there was ways to go about this, to make this interesting. But, but they just went about it in the most, like I said, monotone, lifeless way. Where like, Oh, now here you go. Here's the fucking socks. And, like, again, you could have done all that in, like, 55 minutes, and then you could have that good prime of sock zombies, her trying to, you know, her and, again, spoiler, her fucking dad comes back, and um, who's a different character in the film. Of course, he's aged, whatever. But, uh, like, her and the father fighting off all these sock zombies to stop the creation that he created. You know, like, there's all these ways to make this, like, at least somewhat interesting, and they just like, you know what? We're just going to have her walk around. That's all we need. We need to give them the most fucking plot for their buck. And then just there, yeah, put a poop joke in there at the end. You know, whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> just right. it's all that crucial information, Ian. I just, like, it just, ugh. <laughs> just, it's I, crazy. I just you know, sometimes we have those where like we we hit we hit fucking back. Nirvana on the first one, and then it's just a fucking downfall. And like again, it's <laughs> Nirvana is definitely a different uh, a word to say about last week's show, but still, it it was better yeah, than this show. No. Yeah, and we had a fun little poking fun at um, the fact that he needs to that director needs to be on a list. <laughs> You know, sometimes it happens, you know? You know, sometimes you don't want to pay attention to someone. You're like, that seems odd for someone to do that, and I, I think I should report that, and uh, we we did. Exactly. <laughs> we, and, you, know, uh, you know, we did our part in the last week's show. You know, we're on the list, too, but still. Right, and, you know, at least the, the not even though that movie didn't have much in it, it was at least something to talk about. Man, like went so much going for it. That's just like yeah, it's just like that rooms you know, that Tommy Wiseau effect. It's just like it's not supposed to be that way. They're taking it so straightforward. And like again, this is two opposite things. Like this one's so straightforward that it doesn't work. That one's so straightforward last week's Halloween Double Trouble is so straightforward that it fucking worked. <laughs> you know? It's just like <laughs> unintentionally it, it worked. I still like see the dinosaur <laughs> cutting the, the wolf's head off. It's always the bad <laughs> ones, Ian. It's always like, again, this is 
this is just not one of those where it's just like it it it, it stains your brain, you know, like a, a fisted yeah. or an eight ball or a, a Halloween double bad, trouble. And, and then there's just like boring. Yeah, and this and is just this movie fucking was just boring. boring. Yeah, but Ian, I think we ragged on this one enough. I don't, I, I was yeah, tempted like I, I don't know um, how we're gonna do this show. Honestly, I was I was sitting just here complain. just like. <laughs> Where are we going to go with this review? Because there's nothing really to latch onto, and luckily we managed to to pull through and hit some good points and bring up a few other things. But yeah, it's just I wouldn't, I can't suggest it. Even if it's not a bad, it's like it's not fun for a bad movie night. It's not fun for a slasher. It's not fun for a spoof film. It's just like nothing. It's just like it's just there, and it's just like it's not enjoyable in the reasons that they're right. trying to make it enjoyable. And it's just like, it hurts, <laughs> you know, like, you know, you see the intentions that they're trying to do, but like to go about it all the wrong ways. And it just, it, it, it fails. Right. Exactly. And it's, this is just a boring movie that I say avoid at all costs just because there's nothing there. Like, but if you want to, it's on Tubi, so have oh, yeah. at it. I mean, if you just need to put something on to watch while you're falling asleep, this movie's perfect for that. <laughs> yep, I, I couldn't agree more. But Ian, as always, it's been great talking with you for another week. I uh, Hopefully next week we will have a, a better choice. Who knows, we might toss in Halloween Kills. I have no idea yet. Probably um, he gets worse than that. <laughs> Yeah, from what I'm hearing. But nonetheless, <laughs> that's going to do it for tonight, for tonight's uh, Halloween grab bag episode, uh, marathon episode. Um, we do have an idea for our final show, so stay tuned to our Facebook page and uh, Instagram, uh, Horror Not Oasis, of course. So, Ian, as always, great talking with you, and thanks, everyone, for listening, and we will see you next time on Horror Not Oasis. Good night.